Crown molding back here. No, no way. It's a mirror condition in. Rocky pedestal. Cow tongue. Drive us Rocky. Hey. You may be through. Ooh. Jiggle physics. Oh. Pitiful shape. We apologize to each and every one. Fancy. What is that? Mike the neighbor. Lord yeah. Almighty. Hi. <laughs> Has to get worse before it gets better. You better watch yourself then. Everything new up there. With the conkin. Dance to jig. It's a bad deal. Ah! Highly detailed blueprint. There goes Rambo. Wow. Yeah. When I was your age. <laughs> oh. Hot garbage. What a mess. Bad daddy bratties. Booger welded. I don't know where this is going to stop. Getting serious. Oh. Trouble. It's all them bitches. Ow. Ow. A little less worse. They had the glue snipper. The jiggle saw right there. This is sketch. Monkey on a stick. Hands off. It came to me in a vision. It's the croc test. Whiskey dinner. Dynamic duo. The goat pro. Mess this up. You're crazy. Was that a quail? Ah. Push it real good. He's a liar. Rock it, man! <laughs> you don't do Fake news. Oh, oh. oh, wow. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at this girl. Monroe County. I was gonna say, she didn't like that much, did she? We got stuck in the backyard trying to get it out of the backyard. Oh and then we got stuck in the front yard trying to get on flat ground. Did you see the transmission acting up? Mm -hmm. It's like going in and out of gear, even though it's got enough fluid. We just checked the fluid, but we're back with the 74 Mini Winnie Winnebago. And if you followed our story, we bought a 91 Ford motorhome for $1,600 to replace this one with for last summer's trip because this one was not ready yet because we lost oil pressure on it. And spoiler alert, we didn't make it our 5,000 mile trip around the country. So we got to finish that trip out, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So we got to get the Mini Winnie ready so we can finish this trip out. This thing has a 360 in it. It has oil pressure when you cold start it. Once the engine warms up, it loses all oil pressure. So we got some lost looseness in the bottom end of this motor that we're gonna have to address at some point. Also, the transmission's acting up. Well, if you have been watching our second channel, we actually got an overdrive transmission for this thing. We're gonna eventually swap this thing out to overdrive, rebuild this engine, probably fuel inject it, and get it ready for our trip. But in this video, we're going to try to fix the camper top part of it. So as with all motorhomes, it leaks like crazy back there. And we have a sagging roof and we got some plywood that's rotten. We tore out the interior of this thing last year in a video. Now we're gonna try to get all the rot out of the structure and start building back the structure of this roof where we can eventually seal it back up and have a really good roof. We learned some things from our last motorhome we redid and some products that we probably don't wanna use this time. So. We're gonna use some different products and try to do a better job with this one because we plan on keeping the old gal. Unless we broke down in the middle of nowhere and I end up selling it. It barely fits in here. We weren't sure if it was gonna fit or not, but don't worry, mom measured it and it fit. So let's get started on this thing. We need to figure out if our AC unit works. That's probably a good place to start, yeah. huh? Yeah. Sure. Hey, and this time, not blow it out. Yeah. yeah, this time not blow the AC unit up. Thank you, son, for reminding me. <laughs> Well, what does my yard look like now? I oh. mean, well, in the backyard, we spent like 30 look, feet. Look at that mud flap. The Maryland mud flap's got a lot of mud on it. Oh, dear Lord. 
I think we're gonna have to end up stripping all this off. All right. We probably should. Cause we got yeah. some rot back here. If you... Oh, look at that. Yeah. Look at all these well, Look at all these beautiful screws. We're gonna have to build us a new rear bumper probably too. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> Somebody put the crown molding back here to hold this thing together at some point. Uh, There's literally like silicone the whole thing. And like, it needs a little screw. bit of help. If you haven't watched the other videos, this one, this thing's only 19 feet long, so it's not all that big. This one should be a lot easier to navigate parking lots and stuff or rollback beds. Mm, no. So here's what we're working with in here. You can see it's had a ton of water damage like they all have. We're wanting to fix it right, so we're going to pull these windows out of it. Just keep digging until we get to something solid, I guess. This was actually a toilet, shower, and sink all together multitasking you know we may end up with nothing but frame rails left by the end of this we'll see Probably. we have some moths mm, wawa's worried about it Ooh. i bet there's sink bugs in here too oh god we're talking about that mm, they're gonna get in your hair i feel like this thing might actually work you know all right let's see how this goes Guys, it's cold as it's been out there. The fish ain't biting. And if you've watched the channel for long, you know I'm not any good at fishing anyway. But what I am getting good at is today's sponsor, Fishing Clash. And sponsors like Fishing Clash is what makes this possible. They help support our channel. So please watch this to the end and check out the pinned comment below. Let me know what the biggest fish you've caught on Fishing Clash is. I'd love to hear about it. So once you've downloaded the game, all you have to do, cast, with that button right there, then you hook the fish. You wanna to try to keep it right in the middle to get max combo. Whoa, we got a clown tiger fish. That's awesome. Yeah, this is the only kind of fishing I can do. So they have lots of locations. Yosemite, the Florida coast, the Mediterranean, the Great Barrier Reef, over 30 different locations. You can also change your lure to fish for different kinds of fish at different locations. You can have the fun of fishing all over the world right from your phone. So please help support our channel by downloading Fishing Clash for free in the link below or using the QR code and use promo code TurboJosh. That's promo code TurboJosh. And you're gonna get an awesome $20 value reward for free. With my gift code, you get your own unique avatar, one mythical lure card, 50 luck power-ups, and 30 weight power-ups to help you catch bigger fish. All you have to do to get your free reward is click the blue button in the top corner and click on gift codes and put in code TurboJosh. So big thank you to Fishing Clash for helping support our channel and sponsoring this video. Please go download Fishing Clash and help support our channel in the description below or in the pinned comment or click in the QR code. Now let's get back to the video. I think it kicked the breaker. I think it kicked something. Okay. Well, maybe it doesn't work. Yeah. My heart has stopped. Yeah, it kicked the breaker. I think I'll turn the dial to off and try to... See if that changes anything. It's not looking good for this one. I'm gonna go turn it off. No, no way. way. I can hear the fan kicking on, but it's not blowing. Do you think it stopped up like the other one was? Let me get up there and take the cover off of it. Because <gasps> the other one, the fan was blocked with sticks. Yeah. So here's what we're dealing with with the roof. You can tell there how sunk in this is. This is like three or four inches, five inches down right there. We also have, uh, looks like at least three open vents that are getting rained in. And we got the old Coleman Mach 1 here. Golly, what a hot rod. Somebody's ran a bunch of self tappers in around the side. Will it hold my weight? I know, I'm holding on for dear life on this, Look. whatever this is. That right there has like no strength oh. left. It's just gonna have to be all replaced. What if you fall through? So weak back here. See it moving? What's the worst that could happen running a sheet metal screw into your AC unit? Ooh. So this is probably locked up. Yep. So our other one was the same way. And I did like that right there and it just took off running. But luckily I unplugged this one this time. Let's see if it works now that I just turned it. Wawa, well, you freak out. What is it? There's like 50 ladybugs in this thing. There's our helper. You Hi. Up, buddy? What are you doing? Need me some air conditioning. All right, here you go, Rocky. The blower motor works fine. It's blowing good. Yeah. That's fan only. Turn it back to off. Come on, here you go. Ooh. Okay. I saw something spark. It, it sparked. It kicked the breaker. It sparked right over here somewhere. 
when I did that, oh when my I did God. that. So the fan works, but when we go to kick the compressor on, it's kicking the breaker. So we got something up with our compressor. Maybe the compressor's locked up. We'll have to diagnose our compressor later, huh? He makes a good helper. You wanna go on a trip with us? I bet he would. Yeah, he 100% would, would he? Don't worry, he'll help you sort those sockets. Oh yeah, every time I use these, I have to redo them. Somebody ends up knocking them over, or he steps on them. It's a rocky pedestal. Maybe we'll find a short in the wires or something. You got your face dirty. So he's gonna work on the demo part of it for us. Yeah. Ooh. Oh my gosh. It's probably pretty heavy. Rocky, you're gonna knock it over. Hey. Hey. Rocky, you can't have the hat. You want the hat? You have the hat? Yeah, he's getting the hat. Yeah, no. We can't have anything good in here. <laughs> Are you doing the double pry bar move? Wow, incredible. Oh, sweet Jesus. Are you kidding me? Rocky, no, don't hold the ladder, Rocky. Rocky? <laughs> there we go. This got some serious conking. Oh, my Lord. Look at that, that's like a cow tongue. Rocky. <laughs> Sir, get down. <laughs> Look, he's in the driver's seat. Look at him. Are you going to drive us, Rocky? Oh, Lord. Oh, I don't know how we're going to set it off. It's so heavy. We need Bad Daddy Braddy. Yeah, where's Bad Daddy Braddy when you need it? Or Mike the neighbor. Where's he at? You're such a good balancer. Look at you. Slide it out. I, I don't think I can. Slide it. It's so heavy. It's such a chicken. It's going to, I'm going to end up on my car. So this is what it looks like under there. Pretty nasty. and I mean, it, it is so low here, and you can see... The aluminum, I think this is either aluminum or stainless, but it is completely separated from the wood that's under there because it's all rotten. And I think we're just going to have to tear this whole roof off here. And maybe the sides. Washy. You'll never hear me complain. Y'all can probably go in. I can handle this. Because I got friends. I guess we're going to start by pulling the windows out. They'll probably need to be resealed anyway, you know. They always leak. Now you show up for work. Yeah. On roller skates. Going up ladder on roller skates. <laughs> All right, that's the last screw. There you go. Ah. Ooh, you got it? Look at that wall. That's Jiggle physics. This wall is a little stronger, isn't it? Yeah, a way? little stronger. Seam sealer tape is the only thing that seals that thing up. And I guess it shrinks up and starts leaking. Because you can clearly see where dirt's got under it, where it was leaking water in there. I bet somebody put those on it just to try to slow it down. But this wall is in pitiful shape. And if you're wondering why I'm wearing boots, it's because I had to get all in the mud to get this thing out of the backyard to get it up here. I, I really apologize to each and every one of you. It looks like the way this wall is constructed is, I think this is aluminum, it looks like. You have what looks to be just normal, maybe three quarter inch plywood. The side walls though are insulation and paneling and the roof is real plywood. Gotta get this big boy out. Last one. This back wall is so flimsy. Oh, oh, Mark that killed me. Oh, okay. There you go. Isn't it crazy that it's just like insulation? I think we should make it all out of plywood. Even if it's heavier, it'll be stronger. -er. Look how fancy mom is today. I wonder if we can tear this out and leave the metal on the outside. And do. build up against it with yeah, and glue it to it or something. My wife has called Mike the neighbor to come help us get the I AC. I called for reinforcements right. before I got killed with it. Poor Mike. If he only had good neighbors, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, we got squeeze ripping the wall off here. It's still damp, isn't it? Yeah, it's still wet. I'm afraid I'm about to reach like bugs. bugs. Oh, this is the conking out of the shower from 1974. What is that, Dad? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my 
like the neighbor here to save the day. The last trip in RV went so well, we just decided to start working on this one. You okay? I'm good. Thank you. Love you. <laughs> well, this is baseboard molding that they put over that to cover up where they've screwed it under here. We gotta get to something good under here, you know? Is there anything good? I don't think we're gonna be able to use these old tail lights. Oh, Lord man. almighty. Look at there. You better be uh, careful. You don't even have a bulb up there. Sometimes they hide behind their um, oh, nest do they? in the winter. This is the other side of that tail light, and it has two wires. But look at the amount of wires that is going into here. That's weird. All this wiring goes inside there. Hi! <laughs> what was that? Was that where the, the propane pipe? Oh, propane? Yeah. You're gonna get the water one out too? Yep. I'm working on it. Okay. Golly. Okay. That's like a one by six. Watch out, Squeezel. Oh, yeah. Wow. Look at the holes there. Oh. Ooh, cut me. It's incredible. Oh. 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 You're all right? Yeah, I'm good. There you go. It was just glued like crazy. It's probably from where it got hit in this mm. corner. See the wreck damage from. It just busted everything in this corner. And that's all I need to. Well, too bad or yeah, we need to do bad. something. Yeah, are we attacking this from the wrong side? Do we need to get the metal off and, and then, then take this? You know, maybe so. This thing's got great stuff foam everywhere where there was holes. Mm -hmm. And if you didn't watch the original gut out we did on this thing, it had like a dozen of these unions on propane lines, so that seems safe. This is the back of the shower. Here. rotten that is up in there. Where does the rot stop, Ralphie? I think I've got all the screws out of these corner pieces. Mm. I don't know if the whole thing's going to fall apart when I do this. That's scary. Oh, it's oh, just gross. stapled. Look at this. It's stapled into, I guess, the wood behind there. Look at all the different things they've used to conk it over the years. This is like a tape. And then they've got, looks like, I don't know what that is, silicone. So there shouldn't be much holding this back wall in now. Yeah, it might fall. Well, it looks like we got about a thousand of these hmm. staples to get out now. I think I got all the screws out of this corner cap up here. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Man, look how rotten it is. And they put some sort of mesh over these gaps here you can see the fibers in it i don't know what this black stuff is but it is like hard as a rock it's not sticking well but it's hard still there's a dirt dauber's nest up here ah! dad <laughs> how dare you have you been weed eating you're supposed to be weed eating at what point is this thing gonna like fall apart like an accordion I've done, and like, i've done all of those i'm thinking we need to take the roof up before we take the walls down huh Probably. you don't like the hot So we're trying to get all the little vents and stuff off of here. You can see what kind of shape this is in. Once again, we've got like three or four different products people have used to try to steal this up over the years. Probably what's gonna happen is mom's gonna take out the final screw and me and Ralphie are gonna end up in the basement over here. Oh, look at that, Ralphie. It's been gooped up like 10 times. This is the problem. This is why we're just replacing all this stuff. This may cause me to fall through. I'm worried about you. <laughs> See, that's fiberglass up there. Yeah, you think?
I think I got this one, all the screws out of it. I believe this was the vent for the refrigerator because it had a propane and electric refrigerator. We're not gonna have a propane refrigerator now. So it didn't work anyway. Yeah, we're probably gonna be plugging several holes up here on this roof for things we're not using anymore. That's less chances of a leak too. I'm pretty sure if this thing didn't have a metal framework, we would have already fell through this roof. Okay. There's not much connecting anymore. That junk. Isn't it awful? What? Whatever it is is still it soft. Is it's like the stuff they put around like a a wax seal on a toilet or something. It's gross. Oh, oh, it's wet. Look at this guy. He's not being a helper at all. He's There's just like, oh, one. mom put up some bushes over here. Baby. Look at Granny. Man, what a looker. Checking it out. It's scary under there. He wants pets for mama. Yeah, he wants pets. I finally got that thing up. This thing's been in a collision as well. And let's see if we can peel this roof off here now. You ready to peel this roof off? I'm ready, you bring it down. I know I'm gonna fall through if I don't. So there's two layers and it looks like they've contact cemented them together. It has glue between them. Oh. Like, yeah, there you go. I think you got it. I ventured out here. You I put it in that. So they put random screws out in the middle of this. We're not going to use this metal, are we? No. And it's ripping holes in it. Just heat it up. wonder why it has two pieces. Oh yeah, you're about to fall through that. You better get off. On the That's the glue. We never got this strip at the back one done. <laughs> oh my lord, this is a fine time to know it. Now what? Yeah, I don't know why I thought we had the back strip already out. I guess we did the side pieces. And I was just thinking that we had already done the back, but. Once again, we got a bunch of this stuff to dig out and quarter inch screws. Okay. Now, maybe we can get the roof off. I noticed what your boy did down there. He stepped through the AC tank. Oh, you're right, he did. Yeah, stepped Two right Two footprints. And he's pooped right there. No, that's all the evidence I need. So by some miracle, I didn't fall through, but it has a second layer of metal here. And it's like three different pieces. And look at all the rot that was underneath that back edge. That thing just wasn't savable. No. Ooh, that sag winded that. Where is safe? I was gonna say right about there should right, be the metal right beam. Right there is metal. All of two inches. Oh! Oh okay. Lord. Good thing I wasn't standing over there. Oh Lord. I was just out over that. Now listen, my ladder's propped up on this. <laughs> so this is like aluminum glued down to this foam that's under here is all that is. That came up. Woo! 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 Huh. 
Hey, now my, now my lighter's a wiggling over here. My lighter's a wiggling. Sometimes it has to get worse before it gets better. Exactly. Mm. Please stop. All he's been Please doing is pull-ups ever since we did this. Son? So I'm thinking we should take metal and go from here to here and from there to there. And that'll make us a really strong framework because this thing wiggles and jiggles here. And that'll give us our shape. That is yes. plywood, everything. Yeah. Up here, I think we need to do that rubber roof because I mean, there was no way to save that aluminum roof anyway. And most it's of the like newer that, ones have rubber roof. It screws all in it. Everything new up there. I think that's the only way to go. The sound stuff you can run cheap out on, and I don't think the roof's one of them. I heard you gotta know when to hold them and know when to fold them. I'm about to fold you like a cheap suit. You better watch yourself, Dad. I think we've kind of reached the end of today. I'm wore out. I, you've worked me like a dog. I know. You. But <laughs> basically everything is rotten. Like you can see rot here, you can see rot there. We got to still pull that front window out. We got to tear out some more and we got to build some new up. And we're going to do all that tomorrow. I know you are. I like this type of stuff. Sure. Which hand? Sure. Sure. We're back. We're just not sure. Are we going to replace every bit of wood that's in here? Maybe. Like, carpet has to go for sure. Yeah, somebody I needs to get that carpet, carpet off there so for sure. And we need to figure out how much rot is underneath that window because I see it. So we're gonna tear into this. We just ordered a EPDM roof for this. So we got Dicor brand, 15 foot long by eight and a half foot wide. With the conkin and the butyl tape. Mm -hmm. Conkin, yep. And the sealant. Yeah. We're gonna end up doing a plywood roof, smooth it all out, and then put a EPDM roof over it instead of the aluminum. We're gonna dance the jig on the roof. Look at all the screws we have taken out of this thing. It's crazy. And this is not counting the ones that ended up on the ground. Oh, uh, it's rotten too, isn't it? Is everything rotten? It's a bad deal. We got like half a dozen stripped out screws in this front glass, so we're gonna drill them out. There you go. Just had to make it a flat screw instead of a Phillips. We should be free. Look just, at all them little I was guys. Say, look at the number. <laughs> they were in like hibernation mode because they weren't moving, were they? No. Okay, look how flimsy this roof is. Nice. Look where they wrecked that middle part there. We'll have to hammer and dolly that back out. We got a lot of plywood to buy. Obviously this window was leaking. The farther down you go on this wood, the more rotten it is. Ooh. It's probably just holding water right there. Both corners are rotten off of it. Get little staples and stuff. Be careful. So we're trying to clean up in here and figure out what the condition is of our floor. And we did find right here where the refrigerator was, it's a mess, yeah. So that's definitely gonna have to be replaced at least right there. A little bit right there, that's how it's bolted down to the body. So we got some right there. Is that the only two spots that's rotten? That's surprising. Well, maybe we won't have to replace the whole floor then, looks like. This is the toilet ring and all the screws were rusted out, so we've never been able to get this up. This uh, specific problem here usually helps with issues with the toilet. It looks like it actually unscrews now that I got the screw heads out of the way. Yeah, I was worried about messing up our sewage tank. Yeah. I bet it's gonna be interesting. Oh, no. Underneath here. Looks like they cut the hole in the wrong spot the first time. So, we're up to that. And 
pretty rotten behind here. It looks like the side body just started having a gap here and they just kept, kept shoving foam and insulation in it to fill the gap, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, I guess now we gotta start measuring and figure out exactly how much plywood we need because we're basically gonna have to rebuild this whole thing, aren't we? And I guess we're gonna have to go get some plywood. After making a highly detailed blueprint of this motorhome, I have concurred that it needs 15 pieces of plywood to do this. That's not counting these holes and stuff, so we should have extra to do the floor. I didn't figure any for the floor because we only got like two spots yeah, to patch. Spots. There goes our envelope. Woo! We're gonna have to take it to the trailer? Yeah. Wow! We got some metal a while back, like what's it been? Months and months ago, maybe a year. So I'm gonna take this metal and weld in here and connect these braces to each other. The walls are not so much structural, it's more these beams is what holds this thing up. Look at this guy. He thinks he can drive anything. Well, we're all in here ready to go and Squeeze fell on the way out the door. So we're waiting on her now. Typical. Oh, it's typical. Every time. Are you ready now, train wreck? Yeah. Yeah! It's a truckload event! We don't need no truckload. You gotta get a truckload of whatever you're getting in here. Truckload event. We're about to load her up. This is one of my I favorite stores. I can't take you anywhere. 70 bucks, does that come with installation or what? I don't know. What? When I was your age, it was $5. <laughs> <laughs> it's much bigger, is. How come our trailer don't have white walls? We should. We need some white walls on ours. I feel like I've been run over by a freight train. I'm so mentally exhausted. We don't do well in Lowe's because... This is why we work on cars and not yeah, houses. We go in there and I'm totally lost. So after loading and unloading studs to stud the walls, looking at foam, maybe doing foam on the walls, we ended up getting OSB to do everything. So this way we can screw to something solid. All of our stuff that screws from the outside in, if you just have foam, you ain't got nothing there to screw it to. I wanted it to have a lot more structure to have. Obviously, it's going to be heavier than what it was, but it's definitely going to be stronger than what it was. So we're going to do OSB walls, OSB roof. We're completely changing the structure of this roof, but hopefully it's for the better. And what was that, $600 for stuff? Oh, it was $700 for stuff. Dark already. We're going to get home and unload this. Let's go. 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 let us go to glue everything down. We got the liquid nails. We got some silicone to seal up some Why stuff. We need screws when we got liquid nails. Exactly. We got like three or four different lengths of screws for everything hopefully we might need. You got your inspectors over here checking it out. He's so nosy. He's the nosiest. Can't see what's going on. Yeah, he's super nosy. I'm about dead. <laughs> That's a lot to oh. unload. Oh, we're afraid it may fall. We're not sure. I think we're gonna start by taking this back wall out and it shouldn't take a whole lot. I think we're halfway there. Yeah, we didn't even do any work and we're halfway there. So I've got all the staples out of this side now. And look, man, it is just nothing holding this together at all. Look at all the junk that hit the ground when I opened it up. I guess the Maryland winners got it, huh? Yeah, that was the only thing holding the top. Oh my gosh, look at all this. So you can see what over the years, that? it's just the back wall fell out and they kept trying to repair it. I'd say this piece of metal right here isn't even factory. Mm. Look at all the great stuff foam they use though. Trying to keep it sealed up. So this should give us a lot more access to slide the sides in. Because we don't want to take the whole sides off, I don't think. No, it needs to probably be resealed. How you doing? <laughs> How many times this has been caulked and recalked? Yeah. Or as you would say, conked? Yeah. Latex stuff, silicone stuff, all get together. So we figured out that this stuff right here 
is not factory. This is hot garbage. This is where the shower was and obviously it rotted out and somebody put this panel in here to be able to go in there and patch up whatever was wrong with the shower. And you can see they used <laughs> wood screws and silicone on top of them. So we're gonna have to repatch these and we'll probably eventually repaint the paint scheme on here, at least touch it up. Oh my gosh, it keeps getting better and better. Now. This is so flimsy paper. Look, they folded it. That's why it was sticking out some. They folded it over and then ran screws through it. What a mess. I'm seriously wondering if we're going to end up with both sides off this thing by the time we're done. It's time to go in, guys. Slink out hasn't slinked out yet. Well, we got almost all of this wall peeled except for just right here. I guess tomorrow morning we got to start building back. It's snowing. This is this. Shwop! Shwop! We're back and Bad Daddy Braddy's here. See if we can get a bunch of new wood put up, hopefully. Do you think we can do it? Oh, you got help today, that's the thing. Look at this scraper we got. Oh my gosh, <laughs> he's gonna break something. <laughs> I'm gonna take this strip off of the front edge here. <laughs> we really weren't planning on going this far, but I think it may be holding us from getting this paneling and foam off up here. What's holding this on? Ooh. That's just silicone. <sighs> While they're peeling on this, I think I'm gonna go ahead and tie in our braces between these main support beams here with our metal we've got. At least we got Rocky here to help though, right? You gotta help today, bro. So me and dad worked on this. We had like a one inch hangover on the aluminum there and there, but in the middle, the, this beam was out past the aluminum, so we had to bend this back. It's really actually very flimsy right there. I got this beam cut for here, did a little eyeball angle on it there and got it. So I'm gonna go ahead and tack this thing in place. Squint your eyes, Dad. Got it. Well, we got that thing booger welded in there. That should make it a lot stronger. And now we'll have a roll cage just in case. Give us something to fasten stuff to as well. super solid now. You feeling better about it? This well, thing's gonna be like an armored tank by the time you're I, done. Hey, I said it's a roll cage, man. We can drag race now. Oh. Hey, All we need is a five-point harness. Here, Dad. Yeah, I probably should do the same. Oh, my gosh. Dad, look at this. That was a shower drain. Look what wow. they gooped it up with. That's crazy. Under here, they have took a wooden wedge and screwed it into the top of the waste tank. And this mount has <laughs> broke off the tank, too. So we're probably gonna have to do something with that at some point as well. So this right here is homemade. I guess they're trying to get better fuel mileage or something. They, they made this windbreaker deal. But we've decided the only thing that's holding this bottom half on, which is the worst rotted out part of the motorhome, is some staples under here. So we're gonna pull them staples and just pull the bottom half of this off. Because all this down through here looks to be rotten. We're just gonna go ahead and take it off. I don't know where this is gonna stop, you know? <laughs> Oh yeah, there's plenty of room. Just walk right through here. I think I've got everything loose that holds this bottom on. Oh, this is getting serious. Wow. Below the floor line, it has metal on the inside to keep it from rotting, but that didn't stop this, did it? So I guess we're just gonna take it floor to ceiling, huh? As rotten as this is. This is such a mess, isn't it? Always here to help. 
Rocky's gonna clean this off for us while we're working on the rest of the stuff. So these braces go all the way down through the floor and weld to cross members that are going across here. Everywhere there's a brace going up is a cross member going across. And the factory van floor stops way in here. So we're inspecting our tank now and I don't think the tank's really usable. If you look where the pipes go in, it's loose, which I wouldn't think that should be loose. Some of the brackets are completely broke. We may end up just having to put a new tank on it later on. Even our valves are stuck, they're not working. Oh, that mount was broke too. We didn't cut that one loose. And look at that. Yeah, I Looks think like it... brittle beans to me. So we got rotten floor all the way over to here. We got holes we're probably not gonna use. This part of the floor is rotten all the way to here. So I think I'm gonna cut it down this tile line here and across and we'll just replace this whole section, I guess. Check us out on other platforms at Sleeper Dude 88. You guys are about to get it. Just pull it to go. It'll take you forever. You're doing great. So it's paneling, foam paneling again. Oh. They just took a torch and blew right through, right in front of the spring mount, right through the floor. That's crazy, isn't it? So it's a van, like from factory into a motorhome. Yep. We're doing a challenge. If we get done um, at lunchtime, you have to lunch five dollars. Whoa, 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 I wasn't aware of this. Mom was. Oh, he's in trouble. He's trying to go with neighbors again. Scooter. You're in trouble. Oh, this ain't gonna work out good. So we put some two by fours under here all around the perimeter. Actually right here, that two by four is sitting on metal. So that's gonna support our floor. And we had to end up cutting two pieces of OSB because this is so thick. This is like inch and five sixteenths thick. So we're gonna have to double up our plywood here, but we'll have, we should have a really strong floor. We are about to finally put on a new piece instead of tear something off anymore. It feels good, don't it? Oh my gosh. This thing has kicked my butt. We've been working. Why is it so hard to push out? This is nails, son. That's nails in there. You gotta push them nails out. Poor Wawa's been peeling walls for days. Oh. Yeah, hopefully that'll keep it from squeaking and coming loose on us. Good right. job, Squeeze. Ooh, right in the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> the wood chips. Ooh, my hands hurt. I was freezing so hard. Now that makes the floor level. That's solid when it hits that metal. Well, we need somebody to load test this. Hey, I got you 85 full pounds of force. Alright, that's it. It's gonna hold up, huh? Yeah. Oh, it's nice to finally get something done. Wawa, did you knock the welding bottle over? Maybe. Yeah, I shouldn't have had it sitting there. We're gonna take our old wall. And I'm gonna trace along these lines and we are filling this in because this isn't a factory hole. This is them doing plumbing repairs. We're gonna fill this in because it's the same thing. Shower repairs. repairs. And we're gonna fill this in because we're not putting the wall heater in it anymore. Mama don't want any old propane stuff in this thing. No, thank you. She saw them bitches of one blowing up. So we're not gonna even do propane on this deal. Basically, I just have to cut out our wheel arch and cut out for our water inlet. You thought it was a good idea to get him a gel ball I blaster. I it on the top of the refrigerator. Right, I put it up. <laughs> it was mom's idea to get him. Ow! Somewhere right about there. I think it looks fine in plywood, honey. Right it's stain it. Yeah, it's stain it, yeah. So this is just mocked up. It looks like our holes are in the right spot. Our wheel openings and stuff match up. 
We're gonna patch these three holes. So I guess we're gonna take some aluminum I've got over here. I'm gonna mark where these holes are on the wood and we'll probably go ahead and attach the aluminum to the wood. That way, when we get done, we can clean all this off and we can go back and paint this and it'll look a little less worse. Oh, right corner. We're gonna clean this thing so it's bare aluminum so we can glue to it pretty good. Poor Wawa has been peeling all day long. You're doing so good though. So that should cover all the ugly. Well, maybe not all the ugly. You just walking up and down the power poles? First piece going up. Goes under that metal. About there-ish. This is why we put the OSB on first, so we can screw into our new floor we got in there from the outside. So now we're gonna use some spray adhesive and we're gonna glue this new aluminum patch up there, which is just really cosmetic. And once we put the old aluminum back up here, we'll put screws around these ugly holes. They already got screw holes anyway. Screw it down and it'll go through everything. That's a glue snipper. All right, it should go straight in there. Well, there you go. That's what it looks like inside. We should have a super solid floor and wall there now. I mean, originally we were just gonna go down to here and patch it in, but it was just so rotten down here. There just wasn't anything left to work with, was there? No. It is dark outside, Granny. That's creepy, Granny. Granny's still out here. We're gonna sign off for tonight. I think it'll go quicker now. Yeah, it's always hard to get in the first few steps. It was tough today. Like we worked all day to get this part done, but I think we're just gonna be able to stack off this a lot quicker now. Too much measuring is what our oh, problem was. That's what dad said. Shop, shop. We're back. We're trying to take advantage of this good weather. It's unseasonably warm here. After it was unseasonably cold. Yes, so we're trying to make use of this because we're trying to go in and out and... It... you. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty drawn out. <laughs> uh, we're having to go in and out of the shop and we really need to have the doors open to do it. All right, let's get to it. Don't worry, we have a blueprint here. That should work, right? Does that go fit, Ralphie? Maybe. I like the broom technique there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Good job. So we're gonna test fit this and mark where our window hole is because I didn't have enough confidence to just measure all that and cut it. So right there, we got about a one inch overhang everywhere, which should be good. Why don't you just cut it with the jiggle saw right there? I don't want to get a bunch of dust on the back side of this aluminum because we're about to glue it. Oh, That's true. the biggest reason. I could cut it right here, you're right. We just barely, we gotta cut like less than a half inch off this. Time to glue it and screw it. We got wall wall on the broom again. We don't want flopping in the wind, do we? We got, we got this down to what? pit crew here. Cut it. I forgot to punch the hole. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is good pit crew pit right crew. here. Out. Where's the out one? This is gonna be like the most sturdy RV we've had. So we're gonna have to get a bunch of clamps and clamp this thing in place till it dries. I'm gonna go through these factory holes here for the little awning deal. We're not installing the windows for the final time, but we're using the windows to clamp it together. We wanna have it tied against this at least until it dries, you know? Now what are you doing? This is sketch if I've ever seen it. <laughs> back away, children, back away. You're welcome, honey. 
If this wasn't sketchy enough. I have removed all children from the premises. A gallon of flannel paint hanging above a heater. That's got a bunch of pressure against the side of this. I replaced a van side. And this is what we did. We took a bunch of pogo sticks out of the body shop. Why do you call them pogo I'm sticks? Like, is this what you call them? Come on, body man. Pogo stick, dolly on a stick, monkey on a stick. You know what I'm talking about. What's a monkey on a stick? I'll show you one day, son, when you're old enough. If you don't hold it well, it's gonna fall on both of us. No, dad. Air tension. Hands off. Back away. Don't touch it. It'll work, right? You're so proud of yourself, aren't you? Yeah, that'll work, won't it? Look, we're putting pressure on everywhere. Since this has to dry for like 24 hours, we're probably not gonna be able to work on the actual van anymore because today it's like hanging by thread yeah we don't want you don't want to mess with this perfection here yeah i was wondering how we we're gonna put pressure in the middle and then it came to me in a vision i seen really? it it's like a light bulb went off <laughs> you had a vision Bing! so i guess we're just gonna <laughs> clean up some more we gotta make a dump pile and a scrap pile out here for sure <laughs> And they say we never clean up. Man, that's gonna make it easier tomorrow, huh? Yeah. Swoop, swoop. And we're back. Yay. Did the glue dry? Will it hold? Will we it's be able to finish this RV ever? Uh, Your voice is sweet today. Don't you start with me. <laughs> All right, let's take some clamps off and see what happens. What? Yeah, feels like it. I thought my board was gonna be the one moving. That's awesome. I'll be picking at it. My bucket of barn paint. <laughs> I think we can do one piece right here. Kind of simplify things. Tell me when we're at the top of the metal beam. Oh, you got to check. It's amazing. Hydraulic power, huh? Yeah. All right, right there, right there. I might need to go down a little bit. That should be about the right spot right there. This is easier than me measuring it all and then cutting it wrong, so. This way we know we're at the right spot. You got a visitor. Mike, what's Mike doing? I don't know. With Mike's help, we got it up there. Mm -hmm. We're gonna mark out our window. And what else we got? Gas filler and a box for the electrical. Let me get it. Bad Dad Brady's coming over. He can help you hold it up. We just need to line it up with the top real good. Your marks over here are good. Okay, this is like it's sliding. I guess it's not sliding out. There you go. I think we got in there right. I hope that'll stay on there. Surely with Brad and Mike's help, uh, we got it on there correctly. You been digging? You found something? Yeah. Where were they? They're over there. The edge of the yard? Yeah, they're all milk. That's so cool. Yeah. Let's go put them in our collection. Be careful where they'll cut you. We're gonna put our metal on now on the bottom. I think we'll have this side done. I think we got pressure on everything. We've got a ton of screws in these holes here. And these are factory holes that they had put in them already. We didn't make any new holes. So I think we got it clamped pretty much everywhere we can. Gotta go work on the other side now. We got one side put together. Once we get some paint back on that, I think we can make it look a lot better. We'll use some auto body skills. Yeah. So I'm gonna work on peeling here and they're gonna work on peeling over there. Maybe we'll get this thing done. So we're trying to figure out how far this is solid. Looks like we're pretty mushy there. 
mushy up to about here. So there's a beam across here. So we're probably gonna split it right down the center of that beam and down to the edge of these steps. Are you solid over there, honey? No. We're good. It yeah. passed the croc test. We're good to go. That's all you need to know right there. We're good. We decided we're going to cut it right down the door edge and we're going to cut it off even with the top of the wheel tub there because this side's pretty solid. We're going to save all this. So this Ford, the only thing that's really bad is the paneling. So we're just going to replace the paneling on this corner. We got a huge whiskey dent right in the front here. I don't know when my wife drove this, but I'm going to go ahead and try to hammer and dolly this out. The dynamic duo here. You cut them? Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna hook up the Rocky cam here, the GoPro. I'm a good boy. We'll see what Rocky does today. <laughs> he's gonna eat mom's trees. Wawa, after almost a week of peeling walls, what's the best method? I'm using a hammer, it's the best method. It's very difficult to do this. Yeah. So, you use so you're using a hammer to peel the wood first, right? Yeah, you gotta peel the wood first because you can't peel the foam with the woods on it. Then peel the foam. Yeah, there you go. Hammer, and you can't pry against the aluminum or you'll scar no. it up like Ralphie did. Don't, don't. Yeah, Ralphie made holes in it. Ralphie would like hit it. Yeah, Ralphie was too rough, so we had to take him off that job. Yeah. There's no way I'm gonna mess this up. We came to check on Rocky's harness. And it's sitting over here in the middle of the yard. Did you get your harness off? Yeah, it's still recording. Of course, Rocky escaped like Houdini. You being a good dog today? No, I'm not. Rocky. <laughs> Look at you go. Just look at you. Well, I think we're ready to put this one in now. Right. <laughs> We're trying our best to hit me. He's crazy, folks. So we got all my fancy auto body clamps on here, clamping that together. Man, I think this wall here is basically done now. I mean, obviously we have to do interior things and seal the windows later, but that's awesome. It's so patched up looking with all those boards clamped to it, but tomorrow we can take all that off and see what it actually looks like. Look at that little dove or whatever that is. Is that a quail? Brad says it's a quail. I like how we have the old fence post on here as well, holding everything together. I gotta be in charge of measuring and cutting everything because dad, he cuts everything crooked. That's a lot of devil. <laughs> I'll talk to you about that, son. Are y'all back? Oh, Rocky's gonna inspect the trash. Yeah. Well, I don't wanna carry these no, wow. bus seats. Oh, oh, mom's gonna blow her L4 right here. Shut up, not, not say that. Ah! Oh. Did you get hit in the leg? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. Did you do it? hey. Throw up. Oh. Shoot, you got a two hour dent in that thing. <laughs> oh. You got it. Go. I really can't. I'll show her blade. I'll show her blade. I'll move them later. Y'all just sit down in them. So just like we did the floor with the other side, we put a two by four here and screwed it down through this. We got bracing all around the side, so we should be good to go. Got our glue down there. They didn't know you had that kind of moves, did they? Oh man. Huh? They ain't seen nothing yet, have they? They haven't seen nothing. Just tip of the iceberg on my moves. Where? 
All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna dry fit these and try to go ahead and cut the other two. I split it right down the center of this beam so we had a good solid spot for it to join up at. Once we make sure we have everything cut exactly right, we can go back and glue it. I'll take the other end. <laughs> so dang gonna hit you with it. No, you don't remember? Uh, oh, the turn. <laughs> Got my map again here. Oh my gosh, you're too too good with this crap. Are we gonna have to pull it out again? Yeah, yeah. This is the only way we can get it right. Push it my way. Push it real good. Push it again. Bump it. That's just about perfect because you're right here at this edge. Man, I'm feeling better about it. This thing has worked us to death. At least we're getting to the home stretch on these walls. Yeah, I just don't trust myself to measure these out. I don't think I would ever get them exactly the way they're supposed to be. Man, that's a cut up piece, isn't it? We cut everything except for this corner. We've made the angles on it. So hopefully they're right. Right? Right? Well, we have worked ourselves to death today and we got everything for the walls cut. So tomorrow we should be able to take all these clamps and straps and craziness off the side over here and do the same thing on the other side. Hopefully it'll go pretty fast. So it's already cut. Yeah, tomorrow's just gonna be gluing the side down and clamping it. And then I guess I may have to get up there in the front and cut that front piece. All right, well, we'll see y'all tomorrow. Swap, swap. We are back with our seventh day of working on this RV walls. And maybe we'll finally be done with these walls. The outside at least, right? Outside. I'm just so proud of this setup here. Old fence post here. She did a good job though. She's looking pretty good. Not too bad for some amateurs. <laughs> looking lovely as always. Mm -hmm. We are about to run out of glue, we just realized. We've only got what, five tubes? No, four and a half tubes. Mm -hmm. So we have used 20 tubes already of liquid nails. So I guess we're just gonna be able to put this small piece up. And then I'm gonna have to go get some more glue. Oh, yeah. Here you go. Thank you. At least this one's kind of small, huh? Yeah. Back away, Rafi. Back away. <laughs> Quickly. It'll work, right? Yep. As long as you don't move the motor home. Get it. Easy. Let's go get some more glue. And today's my birthday. <laughs> and I've already had like three calls while I was trying to put that one board up. So I'm going to call my grandma back. Good morning. Oh, uh, hello? Yes. Oh, uh, I was sleeping in on my only day of the year. I don't work early in the morning on my birthday and you woke me up. I'm so sorry. <laughs> He's a liar. <laughs> Work is never done. <laughs> Anything on the road. Haven't they already got enough of our money? Got a little bit, sure. We bought two cases. We used one case on one side, so we figured we need two more cases. And some extra clamps, just in case. Question is, do you want it right, or do you want it done tonight? I want it done tonight. I'm with you. It'll be interesting to see how many tubes of glue we actually went through on this. Should be pretty close. So we split it right on the stud on this side so that we can put a screw in both halves and link all this together with something really solid. Might should have done that on that side, but it's too late for that now. Ooh, Ooh it's squished out, doesn't it? <laughs> push out so hard, but I'm gonna push it against. No more. Okay. 
Mm -hmm. We're gonna run screws in all the holes where these old lots were and stuff. You're using a flat screwdriver to get a Phillips. Okay, Josh. Just <laughs> get a Phillips. Now, you, you, can't, you can't get past your name. I'm surprised it's not a butter knife. <laughs> they work good. I feel like I'm playing with a loaded gun here. That's probably about all we can do. Let's just walk away. Yeah, let's walk away walk quietly. Walk away we shall. I think that's about all the clamps we can get on this thing. We were fortunate that it's up against the beams over here on the building. That did help us. So this has got to dry 24 hours. Rocky, you keep an eye on that, okay? Let me know if anything falls off of it. Schwab? Schwab? All right. Well, I had my birthday. Spent the day editing. It looks like all my propped up fence posts and such stayed in place. So let's take all this down without getting killed and uh, see what it looks like. Yeah. I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> you better watch them biggies. <laughs> They're going to get it. Uh, well, nothing's fell off yet. It's a good sign. Did it break something? Yeah, you ding a dot. Broke this latch. Oh, no. What's the odds of it hitting that? Uh, 99 to 1. I never thought it would hit something. <laughs> that stinks. Well, I was going to put a new lock cylinder in it anyway. Yeah, instant regret. Yeah, instant regret on that one. Shouldn't let that fall. Look at it. It looks flat. It looks great. It looks nice. It's solid. It doesn't feel like it has an air bubbles or nothing. Good job, sleeper dude. I feel pretty good about this. If you want to redo your RV and you have basically no experience with woodworking just watch our channel you'll learn with us you'll learn what not to do yeah you'll at least learn that looks really good on this side all new wood on the inside now you know it's solid we don't want to test it out too much but it seems solid looks straight down the sides oh, i guess i could unclamp that front couldn't i i'll try to be more careful Thank unclamping you, I appreciate it. it that's all solid feeling i don't know why it flares it flares out here that is not something we did it was already that It's just way. the shape changes. It's a little bit wider up here, so it kind of slopes in. Good morning, Granny. She's like, you get any liquid nails out of here? Oh, oh Ellie's like... scared to death, I forgot. Yeah. Ellie, look. <laughs> <laughs> She's scared to death of Granny. I don't know what Granny has except for size. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Granny. So I guess now what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace the floor of this up here for the bed. And that way we have all of our structure back up here because you really can't even stand up here, but we should be able to have some structure once we get this built back and that'll allow us to be able to put the roof on in a future video. Yay, I'm excited. You're gonna get stuck. You can't come up that way. I don't think it's gonna work out for you, buddy. Oh Lord. So I'm trying to get these screws out that you can't get to the head on the other side because they're covered up with silicone. And Wawa is taking the last bits of foam out the front edge. Burning out his fuse of piano. No, it's burning out his strings are very long. Like that makes any sense. It's burning out his fuse up here alone. No. Look it up. Where's your phone? Rocket man burning out his fuse up here alone. <laughs> you said you told me. <laughs> I, I did not. Okay, did so now you know the correct word. It was dad's fault. Dad told me it wrong. So. Fake news. You hit me with another piece, and I'm like, <laughs> make you eat it. I'm afraid this whole front end is going to fall off. I was going to say, do you really have to take that out? Well, that's what's holding that wood in, and that's what we got to screw to. I think this is a bag of molding. Oh. Oh, Lord. I'm on. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's just hanging on by a prayer. Look at all this stuff. What so is much. that? It's just the crud that's holding I it together. I think it's the silicone they stuck. Look at that. I think that's the only thing holding up. I mean, are you trying to get that piece off of there? No, I just had to get those screws out. A little loose up there. Glue down, isn't it? Yeah. Go up, go up. 
think we may need to peel like this. Peel what? the foam off of it. Oh, it's foam? It's foam. What does that? I don't know. We've seen a bunch of that. It's like it's some type of bug, I think. Something's been eating that. Oh, think, yeah. Ladybugs eat it, you think? Oh, that makes me so right. I like that. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. I don't know what to do to help. Our front just about fell off. Basically, nothing holds it there now. I'm good. I, I'll get this other one. Thanks, honey. Thanks, Ralph. The front just fell off. Oh, uh, great. I should have just took it off, I guess, huh? Now we can see the Zephyr in front of you. Oh, man. The only thing that held it was this jack stand. There we go. Front's off. I can see the beast. Oh, my oh. Lord. Oh, no. <gasps> that all popped loose just Whoa. now. You you need to stop. I gotta get this floor out of here. What fell down? What didn't fall down? Huh. Just a little water damage. What's in there? There's a bunch of bees. Oh, look at all that. A million ladybugs. Do you see them? Are in There's territory. so many. It's like it's like a hundred. Illegal. Ew. 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 a lot in there for you. Ew. Oh wow! Look at all the dirt daubers. Ew. Look at how I spray them boogers, huh? Ew. Wow! Come here, Walt. Walt, check it out. I know what. We just got a couple hundred wash nests to get out. A couple million ladybugs. You better be careful. I ain't worried about them. Sometimes they get behind their nest. Oh, they get behind it. Man, they really lived it up in here, didn't they? Sorry, ladybugs. See, this strip here is rotten in the front. This right here is actually really solid. That's why we're not replacing this front corner. Nice footwork there. I'm telling you, I'm quick with the feet. We're gonna go ahead and reattach this aluminum down. We've used so much glue. It's incredible. We got this all blown off and scrubbed off and scratched off, so hopefully we'll be good. I'll probably put a little extra on this because it's gotta hold upside down. What are you doing? You all right? Hand hammer. Hey, that's the keys. No, don't do that. Give it a squeeze there, Ralphie. You good? Yeah. Well, I guess this front wall falling off kind of helped us, huh? Yeah. Well, that is sufficiently clamped, I believe. Yeah. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, now eight. Now what's it gonna do? Dry. Exactly. This one, the way I cut it, I didn't expect the whole bottom to fall out. So I cut it with the side being below this bed. So I made this two by two board here and used my countersink drill bit, countersunk some holes and ran screws this way and that way to hold all that because it's gonna hold us up while we're sleeping. So we definitely need it to be solid. I'll probably end up doing that same thing on this side too uh, when we finish up the interior. I think this is where we're gonna call it on this video. Obviously we gotta finish the roof and we wanna finish the wood part of the roof at least before we build the back wall because the back wall allows us to get access in here really yeah. easily. Cause you don't realize that a four by eight sheet of plywood won't come through the door very exactly. easily until you try to get it through the door. So we'll probably build most of the roof before we put the back wall in. Well, this one has absolutely worked us to death. We're gonna end it off right here. That is eight days of work. We hardly ever work eight days on one video to get an hour's worth of footage, you know, like this. I'm super excited about- I not have it finished. 
Right, yeah, we don't have a fish. No. We're gonna have to do the roof in a different video. So we were probably gonna put the back on last thing or maybe right before the last piece on the roof. Yeah. So you can expect a future video of us doing the roof. Like I said, we ordered a new roof kit. We're gonna put a rubber roof on this thing. We've gotta get an AC unit coming. We ordered vents for it. So we're gonna get those in the mail. So we got some things we're waiting on to do the roof. We hope you like this video. Um, there should be a whole series on this as our plan. Hopefully some of you that have watched the other RV build video series have came back to watch this one we hope we really want to finish out our trip around america yeah um it got cut short on us and we want to go back and finish that and see some of the stuff that me and wawa researched so much on about we did going to see. hours worth of research seriously <laughs> i didn't research nothing if you saw anything that you think we should do different or if you have any tips for us on how to build out this inside let us know in the comments below we read them but drink your rc colas you know the deal can you get it squeezed? There you go. You Good popped job. it right off there. Eat your Vienas. Ellie likes them. And pour one out for your homies, you know? Right on their head. We've also got to rebuild the engine in this because it has oil pressure issues now. We're going to have to rewire the whole thing. We're going to have to get new water tanks in this. Good thing you like wiring. Yeah, we're going to have to do all the plumbing. We're going to have to do oh, cabinets, interior. That sounds like fun to me. Insulation, paneling. Mom's super excited about I'm it. I'm excited about that. I get kind of overwhelmed with these projects because I don't really have a background in this, so I'm kind of learning as I go through some of this. We learned a lot since the last one, though. That's true. Yeah. You know, we really have learned a lot. Like like what not to use, what not to do. Exactly. We took some of your tips from the last video. And we're trying to use them on this build. But we're really excited about some of the upgrades we're planning for this thing. Maybe she'll make it this time, you know? Yeah. You never know. She's going to make it. I mean, it'll be completely, basically completely redone. Right. I mean, we paid 1260 bucks for the last one, and we made it 1260 miles. We paid 800 bucks for this one. I don't see anything that could go wrong here. So make sure you're subscribed. Oh, that man. Out. She dropped that. I'm dropping Merch. it. Wow. And we have some new merchandise, some new shirts. Got we do. Different stuff. Maybe even like some hats. We're working on hats. I'm not what, sure. What do we got? Kill the casings now? Casing what? killer. We got a casing killer shirt now. Um, uh, never before seen. Haven't even seen it myself yet. A slink out, squeezy style. Shirt. Okay. All right. Wasn't there one more? It's just a sleeper dude, but it's like a retro. Yeah, we got a retro sleeper dude shirt that we just came out with today, actually. He just ate oh, a lunchable. You full, oh, he had a lunchable, so he can't have any of these, of course. Bad mom. But you can check out our second channel at Sleeper Dude 2. You can check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Sleeper Dude 88. They're getting pretty good at this, you know? We've done it a few yeah. times. Yeah. Thank you to everyone that does super thanks, all the members we have now. That really helps out. We really appreciate that. Thank you to everybody that comments and likes the videos. It helps us out a lot. You want another one, Ellie? Up. Oh, there you go. You got it. Rocky's going to be mad. I can't give you all of them. But yeah, I love taking trips and traveling. I'm a sucker for the American West. And just, it's kind of, you know, I've always uh, wanted to travel out West my whole life. So I'm really excited about getting this thing done and maybe like going out there. Like goes West. Yeah. Ralphie's wanting to see Texas, I hear. Mm -hmm. Not so. sure why. Uh, but what, what about you guys? Bucky's, there's Bucky's in Tennessee now. Like, everything's bigger. Everything in the West. I feel like it's so much further than our Ocean. I want to see some ocean. Mom likes the ocean, mm -hmm. so maybe we'll make it all the way to the ocean in this thing. Maybe. Mm -hmm. we, it would be funny if we went Mexico border, Canada border, and back. If I get close to that Mexico border, they may not let me come back home. <laughs> But I think we made some huge improvements to this thing. Hopefully we don't get like up to 55 and this thing peels like a banana or something. That would be unfortunate. That would be terrible. It would be unfortunate. So Surely hopefully not. we won't have any problems like that. And by the time we get this thing done, we'll have gone through basically everything in the system. So maybe we'll weed out some issues or create some issues for ourselves. Yeah, probably. Sounds, sounds promising. Let's go give Rocky his Vainas and Vainia her RC Cola <laughs> before dark here. Yeah, it's about their bedtime. Here she comes. Man, she's fast. Look at you. You want, you want your RC Cola first before they get over here? Just go ahead. Let her be first in line. Oh, 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 oh. oh my gosh. Here, take a step. Take a step. Yeah. Calm, Calm down. She's like, no. Slow down, girl. That's it. Man, that's good stuff. She didn't even take a knee this time, did she? Look at these babies. Rocky and Rocky Jr. Big mama. Big mama. Oh, my gosh. Let's show them how pregnant she yeah. is. You gotta see how pregnant Adrian is. Adrian, look at your belly. How many babies does Adrian have in her belly? You guys let us know in the comments. You are so, you are you look like a tick. A week she got like a week left and look at this girl. She is enormous. You're so big. You want your veins? Come on, let's go. 
Mom's got them. Uh, let Rocky Jr. have some. Rocky Jr. wants some. You gonna have some? Look at that beard. Look at this. He's kind of. I know. Hair. He's got a mullet. Is it got Rocky or Granny? Look at this. Uh, uh, Granny ain't got one yet. Here, Granny, here's you a little bit. There you go. Gum that, Granny. Oh, oh the juice? Oh yeah. Ooh. Look at this. Fighting over it. Oh, we need a close up on that. <laughs> She ain't got a tooth in her head. No. <laughs> you don't need teeth when you're eating vines. What in the Monroe County? Armor grinds them up for you. You That's ain't got right. to them. Bye. Bye. Oh, wow. That one over did, there, you need to check the toe on it. Did it go all the way oh, back Bye. <laughs> it looked like our wedding pictures. I, you're so mean to me. It's not nice. Who cut the cheese? Bye. Bye. Please go download Fishing Clash and help support our channel in the description below or in the pinned comment or click in the QR code.